Hello and Namaste. Let me welcome you to your very own YouTube channel, Explore Nepal. Which is all about exploring new places, experimenting new foods and new stuffs. We are back again with our episode number two. And we are so grateful, we're so happy because you have showered a lot of love and support to our channel. And if you haven't watched our first video, I mean our episode number one, I'll link it somewhere here. And looking at my address, you can guess the place where I am. I am at Baudanath Stupa wearing Baku, a Buddhist dress. And we are exploring and uncovering Baudanath. For all of the tourists out there, you need to buy the ticket from the ticket counter. It will cost you 50 rupees for the short country, 250 for Elsen short country, and it's free for Nepali. Now let's explore Baudanath Stupa. Stupa has a very peaceful environment and it's a tourist site. Baudanath Stupa is called as Kasti in Nepali and Jairum Kashwar in Tibetan language. Baudanath Stupa is one of the largest spherical stupa in Nepal and South Asia. Here you can find many monks in maroon robe and shave heads. We are going inside the stupa. The base of the stupa consists of three platforms. I'm standing on the base of the platform right now. Right behind me, you can see the two platforms. We're not allowed to go there and shoot there. And from here you can see the mountains, you can listen to the chants, you can watch the people walking around the stupa doing kora, etc. <laughs> eyes at all of the four sides. Instead of a nose, there is a question mark, which actually is a Nepali character one, symbolizing the unity and one way to reach enlightenment through Buddha's teaching. The third eye in the stupa represents the Buddha's wisdom. And there are 13 characters at the pyramid, which represent the initiation of enlightenment. The prayer flag are tied to the stupa, which carries mantra and prayer into the universe, fluttering in the air. Feeding birds is an art of giving and compassion. Baudanath Stupa was enlisted in UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was said that the Baudanath Stupa was built in 680. Baudanath Stupa gets a makeover once a year with lime powder mixed with water. Saffron water is used to create the decorative lotus petal on the stupa. The best time to visit Baudanath Stupa is at late afternoon. The entire Baudanath Stupa is lit in light and black lamps, chanting mantra, spinning the prayer wheels, which is known as Kora. And I'm so hungry right now. I'm gonna try laughing right now. Whenever I'm at Bauda, I try laughing. Laughing is a Tibetan dress. I'm gonna try this from V Laughing Center, which is at the Bauda's premises. So 
whenever I'm at Bauda, I always try a laughing. Laughing is my favorite dish, so I always come to the laughing center and I have laughing. And uh, laughing is very tasty here. You can try even ice cream, cold drinks, many things here. And my laughing is here. Happy and so I am and now it is shopping time, my favorite time. And we are going to shop around Bauda. There is all shop all around the Bauda. You can go to any of the shop, buy the souvenir of your choice or accessories of your choice for the local people. And if you are a lover of a business artwork and craft, then Bauda is the best place to go. Now I'm going to a shop looking for accessories and some kind of showpiece and some handicrafts and we're going inside. Now I'm inside the shop. We pick up shop in the random basis because every shop here is outstanding. Bodhanath Stupa is surrounded by different kind of shops and restaurants. You can go to any one of them because everyone is very good. Now here I'm going to show you the varieties of mala. It's lined up right here. I'm going to tell you the type and the prices. Here is the Mongik mala which costs you 1500 The color is so pretty, green and red. I mean maroon. And Next is the Moti Mala, which will cost you 500 You can even wear this, and this is very pretty. And here is the next one, the Crystal Mala, which will cost you 700 And here is one of the most expensive Mala, which is known as Bodha Chitta Mala. I'm sorry, Bodhi Chitta Mala. This is very expensive, it costs you from 90000 to 3 lakhs because this is used by the monk and people who are completely devoted to Buddhism. This is very, you know, pretty. And this is known as the Bed Mala. Bed Mala is usually used by the Hindu people and will cost you... 40 parsa? 1500. <laughs> and this is the Aki Mala. This is the Aki Mala which will cost you 350 and this is very pretty and shiny. These are in two different colors, green and purple. This is the Yak Mala. As you can see, this looks quite scary. This is made of Yak bone and this is very pretty. It will cost you 1500 And this is the Z Stone Mala, which is quite shiny, looks like a marble, and its price is 2500 that's 2500 And this is Lotus Mala, which looks quite different from others. It's the price? The price is 500 And this is the Red Chandan Mala. And price and the price is 2000 here. I'm inside Helmo Handicraft. You can see right beside me Pashmina saws, scarves, stocks. The price ranges from 600 to 16,000. And I can see a handmade Pashmina which looks very attractive. This is just made in Nepal. It's in cream in color with some attractive embroideries. And I think you should buy these kind of things as a souvenir and also for your personal use for Nepali. I mean, this is very attractive. And I'm going to show you some bags, which is made in Nepal. These are a small purse and here are some side bag. The prices of side bag are 500 and for the small bag, it will cost you 100 rupees. If you can bargain, then you can get less price. And I like the stoke. She has said me the price of this is 5,000. I'm going to bargain with her. The work is very good. And let me see if she gives me a discount or not. One singing bowl is a treasure. A set of singing bowls when sing together is a miracle. Now let's go and see singing bowls. Ball, which is made up of special alloy. It pre 
this is sound either by striking the back of your fist or by hitting the surface with a mallet. Here I'll show you some of the accessories of the disc. This is known as money. You can spin this around. And now I'll show you Dorje. This is called Dorje. You can also get this small from the fist, as in mala. You can even put this around your neck. Even this money, you can put this around the neck. It comes in a small form. And now it's food time and I'm hungry again. We are going to Himalayan Cafe which is inside Bauda Premises. Himalayan Cafe has a delicious food with cooperative scarf. Today here I'm gonna try juicy crispy chicken with crispy potato and salad. It will cost you $3.50. And if you want the menu, you can message us in our Facebook page, Explore Nepal, which I'll link it down in the description box. And yeah, I forgot to tell you the price of bluffing. It will cost you 40 rupees per plate. And now here I'm waiting for my juicy chicken to come. very tasty here I just love the chicken you must come and try and you know what I'm gonna tell you something so special about Himalayan cafe I love the one of the concept of Himalayan cafe and that's about happy hour after four you get free popcorns here and also free drink and snacks if you come in a group of five or six you get a free drink and snacks and free popcorn after four for every one of you that's complimentary for you so i think you must come to uh, malin cafe and just try the food out here but it's very tasty and the environment is very friendly and peace now it's time for dessert and we are going to hotel tibet international come along with me Good food. I'm at Akama Cafe, which is inside Hotel Tibet International, located two minutes away from the Bauda Gate towards the right. Whenever I come to Bauda, I never miss two things that's laughing and a food tart. Akama Cafe gives you the best food tart in the town, I believe so. I've ordered a fruit tart and an apple pie, both of them look delicious. The fruit they use in the tart is seasonal. Akama Cafe has a very good interior with some Tibetan influence and a very peaceful environment. And now this is the final portion of our video where I'm going to decide budget for you guys. This is just a rough calculation, just an estimation. So I'm going to read out the budget for you guys. For shark countries, it will cost you 50 rupees for your entrance fees, 3 to 500 for your food, and 500 for your souvenir, and your total is 1050. Elston Shark Country for your entrance fee will cost you 250 for your food will cost you 3 to 500 for the souvenir will cost you 500 and your total is 250 for Nepali no entrance fee 300 3 to 500 for your food and 500 for your souvenir if you are taking souvenir and that will cost you 1000 rupees so you can add all of the that you want to and deduct the thing that you don't like from here it may cost you more than this or it may cost you less than this so this is just a rough calculation for you guys and if you like this video please thumbs it up don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the notification bell so that we can be the part of notification support and yeah thank you for all of the love that 
you have showered in our next, I mean like previous video and please show a lot of support and love to this video as well. Join Nepal.